Before we begin, uh, the troop commander give the order of Tikas Pahinga. Iko. Thank you to uh, our DILG Secretary, Secretary Ben-Hur Abalos. Please uh, take your seats. The, our uh, strong supporter of all of our uh, efforts here in the Police Academy, Senator Francis Tolentino. Cavite 5th District Representative Roy Loyola and the other esteemed members of the House of Representatives present. <laughs> Governor of the Province of Cavite, John Vic Remulia Jr. <laughs> Silang Municipality Mayor Kevin A. Anarna. <laughs> National Police Commission Vice Chairperson and Executive Officer Alberto Bernardo. PNP officer in charge, Police Lieutenant General Rodel Ceremonia. <laughs> Police Major General Eric E. Noble, Director, Philippine National Police Academy. <laughs> Philippine Coast Guard Commandant Admiral Artemio Abu. <laughs> Officers, enlisted personnel, and civilian employees of the Police Academy, the Cadet Corps of the Philippine National Police Academy, led by the Masitala class of 2023. My fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to join you today as we hold the 44th Philippine National Police Academy commencement exercises for the Masitala class of 2023. I am, of course, grateful to the Department of the Interior Local Government of PNP and the PNP Academy for this kind invitation to grace your, your, your event as this guest of honor and speaker. Having myself been adopted as an honorary member of, a, of the Taga Pagbuklod class of 1989, I am proud to witness this year's graduates as they embark on this new chapter as public safety officers. I applaud the PNPA for continuing to set the highest standards in education, training, and research to produce competent and patriotic leaders who will ensure our nation's peace and security from this day on. At this juncture, let me then congratulate the Masitala class of 2023 for successfully completing your cadetship program despite the limitations imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. I would also like to thank all the parents and loved ones of the graduates for it, for it is through your support and sacrifice that they were able to complete the program. Mabuhay po kayo. To our new graduates, remember, that your diligence, perseverance, and commitment have led you to this moment. But know that it is only the, this is only the beginning of your ceaseless pursuit of honor, integrity, and service. I hope that you will use this time to recollect your past experiences and live up to the name of your class, Masid Tala, maaasahang tagapagsilbi ng inambayan na may dangal at katapatan na ang layunin ang kapayapaan. As a citizen's peacekeeping force, be just, be morally upright, and commit yourself to protecting and defending the rights of our people, notwithstanding the current challenges faced by the PNP organization. I also ask you to be catalysts for restoring public trust in the Philippine National Police and to be recognized as protectors and defenders of peace, order, and human rights. The Bureau of Jail Management and Penology as safekeepers of the general welfare of those persons deprived of liberty. 
and the Bureau of Fire Protection as protectors of the nation from fires and other emergencies. Most importantly, keep in mind to fulfill your duties and responsibilities with fairness and impartiality regardless of status in society. Public service must be devoid of prejudice, of favoritism, or discrimination, for all Filipinos are entitled to equal rights and opportunities. I also convey my appreciation to the officers and personnel of the PMP, BFP, and BJMP for dedicating your lives in the fulfillment of your obligations, especially at the peak of the global health crisis. With your help, we were able to reach out to our people in far-flung areas and remote communities to provide them with the assistance and service that they needed to overcome the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Moreover, let me recognize your great efforts and sacrifices to address crimes, eradicate illegal drugs and other lawless elements in our country. It is also noteworthy that you have implemented educational assistance programs for the beneficiaries of active personnel, those who were killed or wounded in police operations, and those who have been permanently disabled or incapacitated due to the performance of their duties. Indeed, these programs will further motivate our police force now that they know that their families and loved ones are cared for by our government. I assure you of this administration's support to your plans and programs to deliver more responsive, efficient, and effective services to our people. Together, let us utilize our resources and synergize our efforts to create a more secure, a more peaceful, a more harmonious society that allows every Filipino to realize their goals and to reach their utmost potential. Once again, congratulations to Masintala Class of 2023. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Marami pong salamat at magandang tanghali po sa inyo lahat.